obviously huge props to Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese. They have really grown the game on the East Coast. And I like to, you know, Juju, I think has brought a lot of attention to the West Coast. I think I have a bit. So it's just really amazing to be a small part of it and to see the growth. And I really just think, you know, it's just exponential. It's only going to get bigger from here, hopefully. Talking a little bit about the season with you. First of all, congrats on being the Pac-12 champions. Um, if, even though y'all make it look so easy, that's really a hard thing to do with all the competition. So for you, what was the biggest obstacle this season personally that you had to overcome compared to last season? I think, gosh, there's so many. There's so many. I think obviously staying mentally, physically strong throughout the whole season. But I think um, it's a testament to how tough the competition is in this in this um, conference. And so literally no no game is easy. So there's Washington. We almost lost Washington in overtime. And then Arizona State, they're lower in the rankings, but they're still a great team. And then there's teams like Oregon State that you always have to look out for. And they're going to shock and beat so many teams in March Madness, I feel like. So you just have to go into every game with a really good game plan. And I don't know, just ready to, to put up your best fight. So that's the toughest thing for sure. Yeah. You were named Pac-12 Player of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year by coaches and media, which is a huge honor. Um, for you, how much has this game changed your life when you look back on all the years growing up to where you're at now? Yeah, so I mean, that's that's a dream come true for me. That's honestly, I've, that's been a goal for me since my freshman year. So to see that come to fruition has honestly been, I mean, so surreal. Um, but yeah, I think I mentioned this in my, I had a senior day speech and I was crying like a baby because I'm emotional, but I turned to my parents and I said, who would have thought that basketball would have brought me the wonders it has? Um, because I started playing my basketball kind of late compared to other girls. I was 12, 13 and I wanted to be a girly girl. I wanted to be an artist growing up and it's just kind of crazy. The shift my life has made and I love the game so much. I think it's given me so much. So I just kind of want to dedicate my life giving back to it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's still surreal. It's just all come to an, like a close, like the four years. They they say it goes by fast and you're like, what do you mean? Like, I'm a freshman, like I'm in the dog right. date, but it goes by so quickly. And what do they say? The days are long, but the years are short. Like that's that's what it feels like. So. Well, girl, unfortunately, I'm telling you, as you get older, it goes by even more quickly. No. So enjoy, <laughs> enjoy it. Um, you know, unfortunately, I know y'all, uh, you and the team are coming off the loss to USC, but um, I, I'm curious for you, what made them so good as a team when you look back on it now? Yeah. So, I mean, obviously you got to talk about Juju. She's a generational player in my eyes and she's only a freshman. So think about the growth she will make her next two three years it's going to be insane um so obviously we had to key on juju she had 50 more than us which no one wants but she got hot and she stayed hot so our game plan was to take her away and then it's amazing you know her teammates stepped up so that's just a prop to um you know usc they, they have great coaches great players and um yeah i mean they deserve to win they they had a better night than we did so <laughs> Talking about the women's basketball landscape as a whole, how cool is it to be part of a time in women's sports where so much love, so much attention is given to the players? It's it's amazing. And it's it's actually insane how much the whole landscape of the NCAA has changed since my freshman year because there's been and at well, there was COVID my freshman year and we won, which was amazing. And then NIL becomes a thing. And then there's a the transfer portal. And then now there's just all this national recognition. And so, I mean, obviously, huge props to Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese. They have really grown the game on the East Coast. And I like to, you know, Juju, I think, has brought a lot of attention to the West Coast. I think I have a bit. So it's just really amazing to be a small part of it and to see the growth. And I really just think, you know, it's just exponential. It's only going to get bigger from here, hopefully. And I think it was mentioned before Kevin Garnett on a podcast was like, I can name five college women's basketball players, but not five men. And, you know, I'm not like, because I, I watch the men's game too. I'm like, okay, well, I can name five guys in college, but, you know, but it's just, it's just such a crazy shift and um, just really appreciative, appreciative for, for the men to take the time and show support. Not that we need it, but to show everyone else in the country that it's a legitimate game. It may not be like the men's game. It may not be as dynamic and athletic, but it is a pure game and it is 
methodical at times and like scouting report and it's it's just i think basketball in its purest form so it's just really cool to be a part of yeah i think i'm not the only one who agrees with this but the women's game is so much more fun than the men's college basketball don't tell anyone um <laughs> Uh, before we go, though, I have to ask you something that I read recently. Uh, is it true that Paul Gasol helped you with your free throws? And if so, what were his tips? Yeah, so I love Paul. I think, obviously, his jersey was just retired. So I, I actually haven't congratulated him yet. But he's just an amazing mentor for me. He's he has such a high basketball IQ. And he kind of just breaks down the game so simply for me. Um, and I, I remember one of the first times we talked, he watched all my film, looked at all my stats. And I think my free throw percentage was sitting at like 70. He was like, that's the first thing you need to fix. And I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. And I sat in the gym and I worked on it and I didn't make shooting free throws so scary. I think he was like, this is just something that you need to do. It's going to give you that much more of an edge. So he's such a smart basketball mind. He really invests into the women's game and he's honestly amazing. So I'm just so appreciative for him. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.